thank you so much for coming to The Messenger. Once again, my name is LaTanya. And I'm just here to give you wisdom and knowledge on your situation that you're facing today. And so today, you're just going to ride with me. Just going to ride. And I just want to encourage you. I just want to encourage you today on, you know, I said I was going to write about beauty because, you know, nowadays it's everywhere. We are constantly basing everybody on beauty. Your body have to be beautiful. Your lips have to be plump, plump. And, you know, your hair has to be a certain way to be, to fit in. And it's so many people getting surgery, which is, which is dying down a little bit. Everybody's learning how to accept themselves, but we're changing our hair and I'm guilty of that too. I just like looking different. I'm not going to dye my hair, so I buy it. You know, that's just what I do. I'm not trying to look different because I feel that I'm not beautiful. But how many of you know that there is a lot of people that don't feel beautiful? So before I go all in, I am just going to pray first. Lord, I just thank you for the blood of Jesus and the blood of the Lamb over this video, over this channel, that you're drawing those that you want to draw. And I just thank you that they can feel your presence. They can feel your glory. They can feel your peace as I minister to your people day sharing what I've learned sharing what I've conquered and, and what I've went through on my journey I pray that this video inspires someone builds someone up help them to feel like themselves and want to be themselves and accept themselves concerning beauty in Jesus name well I hope that this encourages somebody to accept themselves and not you know, just humble yourself. You know, there are a lot of beautiful women. And, and I'm a beautiful woman. I, and it took me a long time to know that. So as a teen, I went through the same thing. I didn't feel beautiful. And I compared myself to other girls. We all do. Every time we see a woman, you know, every time we see a man, we compare ourselves. And how many of you know that God says it's not wise to compare? God don't want us to compare to each other. He want us to accept ourselves as he has created us because God didn't create junk. And I know that some people are born handicapped. It's a reason for everything. You know, it's a reason why, you know, I don't think I have beautiful toes. You know, because my toes don't look like someone else's. But how many of you know it took for my ex-husband when I was married to him to tell me I had beautiful feet and he broke it down he was like wait a minute you don't understand I have seen women feet that are on top of each other corns cracked heel I mean feet jacked up your feet is smooth beautiful no corns no cracked skin I mean beautiful and that's what it took for me to realize that I do have beautiful and then I started seeing other people's feet in bad shape. And I and it made me appreciate my feet. So what am I saying? I'm saying, yes, it's, it, it's, it's amazing to be beautiful. But some things come with beauty. Some things come with being handsome. You get used a lot. You get stalked a lot. You get abused for it. You know, you get, um, it's a lot of bullying with it. How I many of you know adults bully as well? I've been bullied because, in my job, because I'm beautiful. And, and, and the men, I didn't know the men were talking about me and the other women is getting upset. I didn't know. I'm just coming to work, being myself and going home. I didn't know anything about that, but how many of you know that if you're talked about a lot because of how you look, and then there was a time where I quit wanting to look beautiful. I quit dressing up. I quit fixing myself up because I didn't want that type of attention because sometimes beauty
beauty attracts evil. Beauty attracts trouble. See, a lot of people doing all these things to be beautiful and don't know what it comes with. It's not always peaches and cream. It's not always fun. It's not always good attention. It's bad attention. You get people that stalk you. We're, we're finding a lot of women are being killed because people want you so bad and they don't want anyone else to have you. And then you have people that will kill you because they're envious of you. They don't want to see you on this earth anymore because you're taking all the attention. Every time you come around, everybody's giving you a, the attention. And so I just want people to understand about beauty it is fun it is nice when people compliment you all the time it's nice that you get all the attention but how many of you know it can be hell as well so be humble with how you are my mom raised me to be down to earth loving caring she did not raise me based on my beauty and and i remember when i was young my people would come up and say oh my god you have a beautiful daughter and no she's not she's okay and it did mess me up but it did humble me to where i know how to act i don't use my beauty to get a job i don't use my beauty to lure men i don't use my beauty to get someone i use my beauty for a blessing I use my beauty and my smile to bless others. I don't use it to take from others. And if we will all learn that, that God says, you know, beauty is on the inside out. It's not on the outside in because how many of you know there is a lot of beautiful women that is beautiful on the outside and their heart is cold and evil. Now, I want to talk about that too. Because I get a lot of people when I complain and I talk about how, you know, this guy, he's doing this. Girl, be quiet. You're beautiful. It's because you're beautiful. Well, you don't understand. It's danger in that. And it's a lot of, if you notice, there's a lot of handsome men and there's a lot of beautiful men that are single. Why is that? People are getting tired of being used. Uh, my ex-husband, I feel like I was a trophy wife because in public, in public, he treated me like a queen. He treated me good. And it made people, people envious and jealous. And, he, and you know those kisses where the men kissing you and he looking at other women to see the other women looking? Dangerous. And when we would get home, it was he was a totally different man hateful jealous envious just acting a donkey just acting a fool but in public i was trophy wife so i just want you guys to see both sides of the fence that it's not all what it cracked up to be stop wanting to be something you don't know every side of it why don't you research it why don't you find out that there are so many women killed behind beauty? Why are we always showing our bodies? Why can't we be fully dressed and still be beautiful? I do it. I do it all the time. Now, there was a season where I did it. But I, I wasn't naked. I may wear some tight jeans and, and a, a cute shirt, show a little cleavage. That's as far as I went. That's that as far as I'm going. But how many of you know that God is not concerned with your outer beauty? He's concerned with your heart. He's concerned with your mind. Why can't we understand that? Why can't we get that? This, this IG model just was killed recently and the dude came all the way from Florida 
to kill her. He traveled. And I don't know what happened. We all don't know the whole story yet. But this man traveled. This, 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 this internet. And I don't know if she let him in. I don't know. But she was a beautiful woman. And she used... She's beautiful. I went on her page. She's a beautiful girl. And her parents said she was beautiful in the heart as well. What am I saying? It's okay to be beautiful. It's okay to show that you're beautiful. We can't help but see your beauty on the outside. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. God is not concerned about how beautiful we are. What are you doing for the Lord concerning that beauty? Are you using your beauty to lure men? Are you using your beauty uh, for money? Because you got a lot of men that give you money. Because you're beautiful. Are, are you? Is that what we're doing? Because if that's what you're using your beauty for, it's not good in the eyes of God. It's not good in the eyes of God. And a lot of people are dying behind it. What they say, live by the gun, die by the gun. This is what God gave me yesterday. Live by beauty, die by beauty. That's what's happening here. All, we, 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 we love ourselves so much. We're flaunting our beauty and people dying behind being beautiful. All of these models dying? Come on now. We got to stop using our beauty for money. That's what's going on. You beautiful men send you money because you're beautiful. Do you not understand that men are providers? Their money is everything to them. So when a man is giving you money, he is expecting something. I don't care who it is. I don't care what position they hold. If a man is giving you money, he is going to expect something in return. And if you are not, and like I told my daughter before, listen, those girls in high school are popular for a reason. Are you going to do what it takes to be popular? Or if you're not going to sleep with this man, if you're not going to do what it takes because this man have sent you all this money, then you need to stop taking money from these men. Because money to them is everything. When you they give you money and you tell them no, what do the first thing they say? I gave you all this money. And you're not going to give them nothing in return? There is no man on this earth that has not given a woman money and not expected nothing in return. I'm, I've never met one. Why are we taking money from men? And you know, we can look at this man and tell you're not attracted to him. You're not going to marry him. You're not going to be with him. Why are we using people? They're paying us. You're accepting it. They're wanting something in return. And guess what? Some men snap behind their money. You're making promises that you're not going to keep just to get this money, just to pay these bills, just to flaunt and wear all these fancy clothes and all these purses and bags. For what? For beauty? For your life? Is it really worth it? I'm just going to be honest. Being beautiful to me when I was young was like a curse to me. I'm just going to be honest. Because it drew so much negative attention. It drew so much hate and jealousy and envy and plotting and bullying and harassment in my life and when I didn't do what people wanted me to do I got rejected I got
got rejected a lot. Nobody want to deal with you because you're not no fun. And I thought you was this. You you thought wrong. No, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. I thank you for the compliment. I appreciate it. But no. And yes, I wanted friends. Yes, I wanted to be around people. Yes. But if I got to do this to be your friend and and you giving me money what do you want why do you why are you giving me money what what is this for because i'm not doing any services i'm not doing this and i and i had a lonely life and i and i'm fine with that i'm still alive i'm 48 years old i got used a lot i got mistreated a lot i got cursed out a lot i got done wrong a lot and you know what? I don't care. I'm still here. I'm 48 years old. I'm still alive. And I'm telling you and I'm giving you wisdom. You ladies need to stop taking money from these men. If you know you're not going to be with them. You're not going to do right by them. If you're using them. Because guess what? Everybody can't say, okay, fine, bye, leave me alone. There are people that are, are attached to their money. And they're expecting something. And they will take your life. Over beauty. Humble yourself. And that's why the reason I did the video this way. is not so important how I look. That is not important. Why can't we see that? How many people have to die? Because everybody wants beauty. I can't tell you how many pages I have went on these gorgeous women. And their end of their tragedy is death. Because of man. Because of jealousy. Can we wake up? Can we do make a change it's about your heart that makes you beautiful i get it i went through it i had choices just like them and i chose this route and i'm still beautiful i look my age i wasn't cut all up in my face i wasn't raped I wasn't done any type of way because I chose this path and I'm still here. Ladies, wake up. Stop making beauty your king. Stop idolizing beauty. People are dying behind beauty. I pray that this video touches a heart, touches someone. I pray that this convicts hearts, wake people up. I release, I re release a humble and contrite spirit to rest and abide on this video as, a, as anyone listens and look at this video that they will humble themselves and if you are humble about beauty and you feel like you're not beautiful that God will rest on you to show you how beautiful you are you're beautiful if your heart is beautiful, you love and you know how to treat people, you're beautiful. It doesn't matter how you look on the outside. Accept yourself, love yourself, and you will draw beauty. Beauty is inside out. You guys be blessed and have an awesome day. Thank you. Make sure you subscribe, share. And listen to this over and over again. I will have scriptures. 
on on at the bottom okay i will have scriptures written down about beauty but right now i just want to encourage someone be blessed